Hey guys, I've been asked to do a short to show how the wiring works on the back of the panel. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? I got a cat, it's going to be in the video, so you all can say hi to Zeus. Hey little Zeus. He's inspecting. Alright, so I'm going to do a front layout because uh, we kind of did a little bit of one, but not really on the main video. So, here we go. We got main ground coming in from the battery. Main power coming in from the battery, and that's on both of them the smaller gauge wire that's tied in, right? Those go in and they hit the red and black wire on the bottom of the power transformer, converter, whatever you want to call it, okay? So that's your 50, that's your 48 volt input into this device. The yellow and the black wire are the outputs. So kind of keep this layout in your mind as we go through it. So these two... These two wires, hot and ground, going in, and they're hitting, they're tying into these black and the red wire, the bottom pair. That's the input, 48 volt. The output is black and yellow, that's your 12 volt, okay? So this ground is going to be the common ground for everything in this panel. That black ground wire that's tied in with the yellow is going to tie all the grounds together in the back. Keep that in mind. All right, 12 volt output goes in through the panel and all it does is loop back out and hit the, uh, hit the breaker. Then from the breaker, because I didn't have yellow wire, that's how this is wired. This is the same wire here as it is here. It's just long enough to make it. So the output of the breaker is the red, okay? This panel is already wired. There's a red wire on the back and a black wire on the back that are hanging loose and already stripped. This output is gonna go to the already stripped red wire and it's right it's tied onto the back of the USB voltage cable right so there's a voltage meter right here when it's on and that red wire is there so is the ground it comes off of this panel and then from here it daisy chains power to each of the five switches okay and at the bottom of each of these switches there's going to be one spade connector open that's your hot so this switch when you throw it let's turn some power on so this switch right here, when you throw it, coming up, there we go. So that switch, when you throw it, will energize that bottom connector. It's on the bottom. It's be like right here where my finger's at, but on the other side, right? And then the, the and all these lights and everything are pre-wired back there too. But on each of these switches, there's one empty spade connector. That's it, and that's 12 volt. Everything else that you plug into these connectors or plugged into a switch hardwired like my light up top, are all going to be grounded all to the same black wire right here. Every black wire on here is already going to this back piece, and this one's got one single ground wire, so that is going to attach to this ground wire, and the ground wires for all of these in the back, one, two, three, four of them, they're all going to tie to this black wire. So you got this wire touching one, two, three, four, five ground wires, okay? And that's how that works. Well, and then the light switch on mine, or the cat cable on mine is gonna to go to ground. So I actually have six. All right, so here we go. We're gonna mirror everything around. Let's turn around and get on the other side. Everything's undone. So here's the back of our connectors. These are the grounds. I've got them all connected. These are soldered and it's heat shrunk. Okay, and that's the ground wire. And that's coming down. It's hard to see, but you can see it moving there. And that's the ground wire that comes off the bottom of that voltage panel and the USB panel, okay? And then the red wire coming from, so this is the green, this is the, uh, the power wire going from the converter. And then right behind here is where the circuit breaker is. And this is the 12 volt that comes out of it. And this is coming up. I'm gonna wiggle it so you can see it move. This wire right here is the other wire coming off the back of the USB cable or switch panel, right? So this is your this is your positive, and this is your negative, and they're already wired. All of these wires are already done. Okay, so grounds, the main ground off of the top of the four-way uh, plugs on the top, grounds coming down, and wiggling it goes to that ground. And all the other grounds are tying into here, right? And going down to the ground, this one right here with the yellow wire, like I mentioned. So that's coming up too. They're all tied together. 
through up here and through down here. And then all the red wires for your power up here to these four ports that I did, all the red wires get their own switch, right? God, it's hard to see, I'm sorry. So this comes down, here's our first one. That's the crimp connector I put on it. And it goes right onto a spade connector that's empty from opening it right out of the box. There's an empty one behind each switch here on this side. Here's another one. So here's a better look. This is the, this will be the first switch on the left when you're looking at the front, far switch on the right. This connector, I'll pull it off, looks just like that when you get it out of the box. And all you gotta do is put a crimp connector on it. I put heat shrink around it so we don't have to worry about shorts. And you just plug it right onto that spade connector. Of course, I'm doing this through a camera lens. Okay, that's plugged in, good to go. And then for the light up top, these are the wires that come off of it stock. And then I just crimped and heat shrunk more of that same 10 gauge wire and zip tied it around here, which I'm gonna do all this again. Um, and then that just comes down right over here. That's the red wire I just unplugged. And then the ground from it, as you can see, uh, right there, this is the bottom of that wire. The ground wire ties into ground, like all the other ones. They're all tied to the same ground. They all share the same ground. And then this is the power wire for it. So when I flip that on, let me reach around and you'll see the light broadcast pretty bright, all right? That's it. Hope that helps. Zip tie everything up. You don't want it all hanging out, but everything's already insulated and ready to go. What you do, you need to insulate and cramp and put together. Cheers.